Hi, it's Mayor Neil Trotter, just reporting on the last uh, council meeting. The last meeting was the election of the Mayor, so that took up a fair percentage of the night. It's great to be uh, elected to the position of Mayor. Um, I'm really grateful for the support of my fellow councillors. And um, I'm really uh, grateful for the support of um, outgoing Mayor Joe Beard. She has done a tremendous job over the past um, three years and has really gone in above and beyond. And some other business as well. Part of that other business was talking about female change facilities and applications for grants. We have um, uh, had three successful applications for that funding. There were some that were deemed ineligible um, and I think uh, perhaps people need to pay more attention to the application process and what's involved in that. This one the money was for painting only, so it's, it gives the government an idea of how much money that they're going to be out for and what the cost of those facilities will be. But the uh, female facilities are really well needed within our shire. They, um, a lot of our facilities are, are, are getting older and they were never incorporated in the first place. We have some facilities with uh, communal type showers and um, uh, that are just substandard. So getting this funding is going to be really great for some of our facilities. Uh, with the events and festivals this year, uh, we've changed the um, criteria for these grants. We, we want to make sure that the funding that we allocate to events is well used. So it doesn't, just, doesn't go to the same event year after year after year. We want to see new events and encourage new events to come on board. And so we've introduced that sunset clause into existing events in the hope that uh, existing events will become self-sustaining and that um, it'll encourage new events to come on board. Some of the other matters that come up at Council were um, getting ready for the fire season this year. Um, we're going into a fire season that's going to be um, probably late and with the amount of fuel around this year, this area is probably um, different to other areas in the state and that, that We've got a really, really heavy fuel loading. We've got a council uh, area that stretches from the coast to um, Skipton. And there's different needs in both ends of the Shire. Um, in the northern part of the Shire, we've got to be very cognizant of um, uh, grass fires. And in this southern area, bushfires are a real and present danger. So we need people to be cleaning up around their properties, around their sheds and houses. Um, prior to that occurring, so we'd be encouraging everyone to get fire ready.